hey, my badass business owners, I want to pop in here real quick because I want to talk about something that I think we get confused on as small business owners. People reach out all the time and go, how should I price things? What should my price be? The only person who can answer the question of what should your products or services be priced at is you. The key is you need to take in a lot of information. The first thing you need to understand is what we talk about all the time. Sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits. So when you go to set your price, you need to understand what your cost of goods are. What are the materials and the other parts, ingredients or other items that are part of what it is that you offer, plus a fair labor wage if you provide a service or you actually create the product that's going to be in your cost of goods and then you need to know what your expenses tend to run because part of when you sell it is is going to pay for those expenses so you need to know do your expenses run 20 percent of what you sell five percent of what you sell do you have to make you know five hundred dollars a week to cover your expenses and this is how much you sell a week and you've got to make sure you cover that plus you also need to take in with your competitors now never assume your competitors are priced right because that ties into it as well people will go but my competitors they're priced at 80 bucks i've got to be priced at 80 bucks how do you know your competitors making money at 80 bucks your competitor could be making no money or if it's a big box or a big company they might be able to make ten dollars every single time because they're going off of volume and selling tons of something so be very careful of when you're setting stuff people care about value and what they're getting for their money it's not a race to the bottom and it's not about someone coming in and telling you oh i can tell you you absolutely need to be priced at 80 bucks no you need to say okay this is what the market is that's one thing what is the market Two, what are my cost of goods how much do i need to cover my expenses and what should the business be profiting remember as a business owner you're wearing two hats you have the business profitability and you have the doer the the worker bee the job job piece of it and if you're going to work on that job for two hours then guess what you need two hours of labor in there because you're going to pay yourself the two hours of labor then if the job is successful and profitable then you're going to get paid as the owner so if you want to learn more about pricing videos that I'll share up here or over here or somewhere just watch the dang thing and we'll show you more on pricing I'm gonna to continue to do more and more videos that teach you how to price but the main thing you got to keep in mind is you can't set your prices 100% based off your competitors and there is no one that you can reach out to to say what should I be priced you are the only person who can make that determination by taking in all of the information not just what your competitors are doing, but you need to know sales and cost of goods and how that impacts what it is that you're doing and how much profit you wanna make as a business owner, okay? So we're gonna keep doing more and more on this, but I just wanted to take a moment and really explain this concept because a lot of people struggle with it and I hope it helped you out. And if you wanna learn more, like I said, look for any of the little different things that'll be on here and I'll be back with more stuff on how to price your stuff correctly. Have a good day, good day.